Uh, I'd now go to the government side, but my colleagues have indicated that uh, Senator Heffernan can take their spot for their 15 minutes, or any part of it, um, as he is involved in other committees as well. Uh, Senator Heffernan, over to you. Thank you, uh, Mr Chairman. Mr Attorney-General, um, in recent months um, I've put a proposition um, to the Royal Commission into the Institutional Treatment of Children. And I might say at the outset, I think that commission under Justice McClelland and, and others, and including um, Mr. Reid, who's just come to the table, are doing an excellent job. And it's pretty heartbreaking to see what's gone on and what's been denied for the last 50 years now being exposed as a reality. It's broken a lot of hearts. I actually want to go to the proposition, Mr. Attorney, that we should include in the terms of reference the institution of the law. And I have documents here which the Royal Commission has seen to justify that case. And in fact, every Attorney General, from Attorney General Ruddock till now, has seen some of these documents. And they are they are police documents, and uh, they are very disturbing. Um, in recent, in the last 18 months, I have put forward a case which I initiated to remove a judge from the bench in New South Wales, Justice Gary Neal, whose name in the trade was Gorilla in Black Lace, and. Um, that succeeded to a point. We're hearing a case against a man who was found guilty of raping siblings and then faced new charges, which the judge wouldn't allow to, the earlier charges to be allowed into the court. During the hearing of the case and from the bench, from the bench during the case, said to the court that he thought the law was out of date and that sex for siblings should be now legal and that it shouldn't be illegal for men to have sex with children. And I found that despicable and despising and a complete bias of display from the bench. Took it to the, to the Judicial Commission and I might say the New South Wales Judicial Commission is doing an excellent job and I have a good relationship and have had for some years. And as you know, Mr Attorney, I've tried in vain to get a federal judicial commission. And I think the treatment in the federal jurisdiction of children by some people in the jurisdiction of the Family Law Court is disgusting and a disgrace. And some of those children are a tool for attorneys in representing cases. So having produced a set of documents to the Royal Commission under an order to produce, which includes, disturbingly, documents that name in one document 28 people as alleged pedophiles, signed off by Gary Crook QC, counsel assisting an earlier Royal Commission, includes a whole lot of prominent people. And I think to protect the discretion of the Royal Commission, I won't comment on what the Commission thought, except that they thought it was outside the terms of reference of the Royal Commission. One of my problems is um, that we have in Australia, and I mean, it's like the denial of the priests and the altar boys to make a sort of a cheap comparison for 50 years sort of thing. We have in Australia, sadly, a compromise at the highest of levels. There's a former Prime Minister on this list and it is a police document. Um, we have a compromise similar to the compromise demonstrated by 60 Minutes in recent times in the UK. And when I approached 60 Minutes and said, why in God's name did you have to go to the UK to do that? 
they said, because no one in the UK would do it. And can I just say to the, to the children that have been abused, to the parents and the, and, the, and the loving mothers, quite often more than the fathers, who go to places like divorce courts and the lawyers use the tool of abuse in the divorce courts. The divorce courts should deal with, in my view, the breakup of the family and its assets, etc. It shouldn't and isn't qualified to deal with abuse that is alleged. That should be a separate entity, and it's not. Can I, I just want to put everyone on notice. Are you talking about the abuse of children here? The, the family law court judges demonstrate quite regularly that they are not capable of dealing with that phenomenon, that the custody battle is often, often uses the legal tool of one partner abusing the other, whether that's true or false. And in many cases, it's false. Could I just go to, uh, and thank you very much for your assistance. Um, well, there, are, there are provisions, of course, Senator, in the Family Law Act, which do deal with the making of false allegations, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which of course, apart from anything else, is perjury if um, made under oath, but, um, but also may have consequences in terms of costs and other co adverse consequences I, for parties maliciously making lots false of allegations. People, I, because they know I'll try and help, who have their lives ruined because the law outsmarts them in the family court. Could I just, to make the point, I ac absolutely believe that in many cases an all human endeavour has failure and none more spectacular than me. But it is often not his people's secrets. And obviously these documents are very disturbing. And they were delivered to me by a police agency some time ago because no one seems to want to deal with them. It is often- Senator Heffernan, I, often... I understand you have put the documents to which you refer into the hands of police. Into the, some of these, doc, this folder actually, as Mr. Reid knows, and I thank Mr. Reid, and I think you're doing an excellent job, as is the Royal Commission, actually came back hand delivered. Um, Every Attorney General, bar you, you're on that committee when I tried to get the argument up for a Federal Judicial Commission, has seen some of these documents. Some of them didn't read them, some of them returned them. Robert McClellan tried to do something about some of them. It's not so much the secret that's the problem. It's when a group of people, such as the 28 people on this page, keep each other's secrets, that the institution going back to my point of the institution, becomes compromised. And on this list, and I won't, there are some spectacular examples of that. People involved in hearing court cases, people, anyhow, I won't go through that. I just appeal for the thousands and thousands and thousands of people in Australia, and the, and the Royal Commission to its credit is demonstrating the disgusting culture of some of our institutions. I appeal to you, for you to give consideration to cleaning up this act. I mean, the Royal Commission, the Wood Royal Commission, as you know, Mr. Attorney, was about to explore, and it's in the hand side, so it's no great secret who the legal fraternity people were that used to attend Costello's, the boy brothel club in Kellett Street, King's Cross. And I've actually got the list here. And a lot of them are still practicing. But the judge of the day of the Royal Commission decided it was a no-go zone. And Paddy Berg and council assisting at the time said, will rise for morning tea, and they never went back to it. And I did ask the commissioner why. He said he'd deny it if ever, ever I mention it. I think it's time to mention it in view of the good work of the Royal Commission. He said, we've decided not to revisit those issue, that issue because the public would lose con confidence in the judiciary. 
I think it's time, like our, the churches and our other institutions who are now facing up to the truth, I think it's time the institution of the law faced reality. Well, there Senator are a lot of good people in the law. The Royal Commission is doing an excellent job. I, I absolutely am blown away by their attitude, aptitude and, and, and the, the forensic and, and uh, tone they bring to and the consideration of victims. Many who can live through this, many who can't and suicide, etc. I think it's time we gave consideration to cleaning up the act. And I, I, I mean, you may like to revisit. I don't see how, given the evidence, given just the instance, and I have to say I've got rid of a, another judge through the excellent work of the Judicial Commission in New South Wales a few years ago without a murmur. He was a person who's in this list here as picking up young blokes in the toilets outside Marcelline College at Randwick. He heard a case in the central west, I won't name the town, of a, foster, of a, um, a not the father, the, the um, living with the wife, what do you call them? Macca, help me out here. Stepfather. The stepfather abusing a daughter the judge closed the court. This is the judge that's in this here. Found the person guilty, suppressed the names, gave a non-custodial sentence to the man and let him go back to the family home. Nothing else was done. I think it's a disgrace. And Just finally say one thing We can quickly. come back to you if you have other questions no, you're later. Okay. But, but I think if, included if in, about the, finished. in these documents, and I think it, it measures the issue, Mr Attorney, and I would hope people are listening and we give serious consideration to the victims of this process. When the um, police find it necessary to put a judge under surveillance, I think we've got to a point where we've got a problem. And when that surveillance is dropped because of a lack of cooperation between the AFP and the New South Wales Police, we have a problem. Thank you very much, Mr Chairman.